Go to five, hit a brand, win the game. Demon Alley Mech Murloc Pirate. Let's see. The brand lobby. Rewinder is good. We snicking and snacking. You like me some snicker snacks. So let's not click the wrong icon. Yep. <laughs> All right. Snick snack. 12 armor shutter walk. Delicious. I, I know that Twitch does not allow any third party stuff where I start mixing the chats. Like, let's say I would mix both chats and put them on stream or so. That is that is not allowed, I think. But for the viewers, right, you can you can mess around with it if you like. How do you force certain builds? Oh, can you really force certain builds? The best way to force a build is by being very strong and healthy so you have time. But for the most part, if you want to do high level play, you have to play what the game is giving you. I might freeze here because you can make a big taunt a trickster. The scout is pretty much always nice to buy. I like scout being on the board. And check for a winder next turn. I'm trying to think whether I want to freeze this 3 2. It's not great to eat, but it's actually okay. Big trickster value. You're sure I'm going demons this game? Shutterwalk does like to play demons, so that is a fair chance you are correct. I would say pirates with brand is also really nice, or even murlocs. There's my rewinder. Oh. Well, now it feels a lot less impressive, but you know, I'll take it. If I eat the 4-5, I don't have to hero power this guy anymore. But now I can do this. Very nice. I guess I'll just put it on the second place, right? Save the big meal for himself. What a cheeky, what a cheeky minion. That was a good turn. I've been doing that a lot where I play scouts and I get a coin and then I just try to have a good turn by having extra money from the scout. And Chef's Choice made it a lot easier to do that. I can cycle this Tad or I can roll. This will cycle Tad. I know what you're thinking, but don't eat the 1-1, one, one, all right? Good boy. Good boy. Pretty good. Bit of hero powered first. <laughs> hero power dominion as it is mid air, so that before it drops, the hero power gets priority. There you go. You think at high level there's discernible play styles? There's some differences, but most players will play very similar because they just figure out what is good. So like the player that just goes for top four, the player that just goes for top one, that's much less a thing at super high level, because at high level, pretty much all the players are trying to force first places. What once you get to like like 13k, 14k, 15k, you start getting like 50 points, 57 points for a first place. You start losing points for a third even, so you kind of have to just go for firsts. Brain Brain XC, thank you so much for the 5. Welcome back. Go to 5, hit a brand, win the game. Classic. So if we get a dragon that eats the whole shop, that's also very good for Shutterwalk. Now that we are on tier 5, we can start hitting good pirates. Percussionist is also really nice because we have the rewinders. I really like how we've played the game so far. It's been pretty clean. 
our our opponent is a monster though. Chondrius over here, please. Wow, dude, we win? Wow, 57%. Okay. I guess he does have four units, that's true. It is only four units. Floating Watcher, Rodeo. I might not even buy Floating Watcher yet. I'm not really self-damaging a lot. Rodeo is sweet if I had Bran. And I can hero power it for a free spell. I'm probably going to skip the Watcher for now. I might buy it back later. Oh, my main man Bran. This is also not a bad triple, but it might be bait. I'm going to be honest. It's probably bait. Because then I have to keep a random Murloc on my board. I'm going to play the Rodeo first, I think. Yeah, I'm, I'm just going to pretend like this isn't here. It's a good triple, but I don't know, man. Weird. Telescope. Um. Demon, demon, demon. Might boost the shop with Felimental instead. Oh, another Bran? And another Feli. I'm gonna go for spells. But I'll buy the other Feli. That's so good. Hey, I said no refund. Clean. Let's fucking go, chat. Forty-nine, forty-three out of nowhere. Let's go. <gasps> Now we're uh, looking a lot better. And we got the double brand. Usually when you buy the two brands, you start losing because it's kind of greedy. But we had a good turn there. We had a great turn. I'm going to eat this shop because this is good HP. Probably going to level, but I'll roll twice. Because it costs eight. I might find something that changed my mind. Like a golden elemental. This is a bit order lol, but I don't give a shit. <laughs> if that's what it takes for me to roll a golden elemental, I'm okay with that. Do I roll for brand first? Is there a six drop that would make me regret rolling first? Tethys. But I don't really want to buy Tethys. I'm fine rolling for brand. Orzol is fantastic. I guess Orzol on the board first is better. Uh, I'll take the Murloc, I guess. But I could also sell and play a cleave. With Golden Soul Rewinder, I might find uh, Jaraxxus. You know, I might actually go for Hero Powering Felimental for a turn or two. Just to make a Giga Shop. Oh, Fall Reaper with Big Magnetics. That's fair. I can play around Poison Scam with that. I don't think it's a big problem because I will go to 6 soon anyway and then I can do it. I can just buy a Fall Reaper. Holy shit, he's big. I might have to hero power the dragon then. That is a large boy. So plus 4, plus 4 to the shop and then jam the Mind Muck. Make a big rewinder. I can see myself selling rewinder and keeping the extra taunt to play around Bramble Witch a bit. I think that's better, yeah. Play a bit around Bramble Witch. I'm gonna eat here in case there's a minion I would want to buy. I'll make the rewinder a bit bigger because I'm gonna keep it for a while. Freeze, yep. I guess I bump with the brand back. Something like that. That's a great shop, yeah. If I get Phalanx from the Tavern Tempest, it's an elemental, but also a demon that I can eat with. But it's also a Murloc for this primal fit. <laughs> it's actually pretty good if I had Phalanx. Ants for Urzel as well. That's a great call. Yeah. I usually miss that. Because I'm usually not looking for the pants early. Don't hit the Matador. Okay. Uh, 
Uh oh. Round two. Okay. Whew, we dodged. Dodge champ. Oh, but that's a shield. Still take extra damage. Alright. 21 health. It's not too bad. We did go to 6 this turn. Still think I'm gonna pump the shop. And then next turn we can start hero powering the dragon. This is just so good for the long term. Grandma Witch is great then. Um... There's that magnetic, yeah. Oh, baby. A little punished for playing the battle cries, but same again, right? If that's what it takes for me to get a golden brand, I guess I'll be punished. I don't give a shit. Punished with golden brand. Oh, no. Neka J, let's go. I'm not gonna discover a demon, I'm just gonna roll. Oh, I skipped the pants. <laughs> Ah! That's fine. It's fine, Copium. Yeah, let me taunt this guy. I think this one I'll just play. New hero power seems bad. I'll end on a Felbat. My shop is so large, it's so good. One, two, three, four, five, six. I don't think I'm gonna play the Witch then. It's gonna play this and roll. Freeze Hummel is fine. I might keep hero powering this golden felemental now. Is it Murkai? Over Felbat? That's kinda greedy, right? Isn't there value in Wind Fury to kill off your good demon before it gets witched? Uh, if Witch is in, I don't really like playing with Ultist, so I'm just gonna try to untaunt the Orzol. Which means that I should have bought the pants that I missed. Pega. Make money off that Murloc, but I'd have to sell two things. I don't think I want to sell two things right now. Orzol number two is fantastic. This is great. This is great. I think I might go for three demons in my hand instead of another shop buff. That's actually pretty insane. I gotta play this, and that eats. Then I play this, and that's a double eat. And I have to roll? Jesus, that's... All these guys. Play this. Play this. Oh, I might triple my Orzels this way, but that's okay. Buy this because I have no time. This is good, but I have no time. Actually, I might keep this in my hands. That's too greedy, right? <laughs> That's too greedy. One, two, three, roll, cast. Coin, play, roll, freeze. Let's fucking go, chat. We're about to get large! Don't put the Bramble back in the pool. It's okay. The goal is to make six units, they have to Bramble. They probably won't have six Brambles. <laughs> uh, but it's a cute little Wind Fury Cleave. Who's got a cute little Wind Fury Cleave? <laughs> it attacks twice! That's crazy! <laughs> uh, I love doing that, man. When I get like silly, silly big, it's like, oh, look at that board right there. Hey, Elias. Yeah, that's the first YouTube stream. Oh, we popping off, chat. We popping off. Popping up, popping up, popping up, popping up. Oh, the mech player is here. 
I think I might just sell the Felderig. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy, but... Should just numb the whole shop with us, right? Dragon would have been good to end on, it's fine. Dragon is good to end on, it's fine. I don't think I care about that. <laughs> we built a moderately large demon board. Oh no, a Bramble Witch. Please, God, no. That's a good Matador, though. And they have a poison. Hang on, chat. Hang on. Alright. You can let go. We're fine. Look at this scamming individual. How dare they, chat. Trying to scam the honest demon player. Uh, I'll play another round, sure. If you're giving me another round with this board, I'm... Who am I to question this shit? I'll play another round, hell yeah. Golden Bats... Yeah. Sure. Let's lose to the scam. Let's just build the Giant Urzel, let's have fun, chat. Oh, I should've hero powered that. That's fine. I'm gonna make a J actually. <laughs> I wanna build a bigger result. The order doesn't matter, it's fine. And let me do this. <laughs> Alright. Let's play the rewinder before I kill myself. Oh my god. I'm just trying to build the biggest unit now because the game's already over. Why can't we give that thing taunt back? If you put the pants on it, it's immune for taunt. At least from magnetic and from tripling. That's what I've noticed. Oh, he could kill himself on a matador. <laughs> no, no. I'd already hit it with the brand, I guess. All right, 2,000, 2,000, that's not bad. 2,000, 2,000, I'll take it. How much time on average do you play Battlegrounds? Um, I'd say between five to six hours. The weekends it's gonna be more like eight to ten hours or so.